Salve. Let's play some Total War Rome Remastered. And we're back. Um, so previously we had the Siege of Lepara and we've won that battle. Unsurprisingly, I would say. Uh, I've then moved our, our troops down here to Regium. We're uh, retraining them. I think they're going to get... This is a shrine to Vulcan. They're going to get light and, and heavy weapon upgrades. Which is pretty good. And I've also wiggled the fleets around a little bit, as you can see. Um, so I've put this, um, this is Admiral Herius down here towards Syracuse because I've noticed... Syracuse actually broke their alliance with us, and I can see the Carthaginians are going to be what we call a bit of a problem. Um, they've got a massive army. Now, the quality of their infantry is kind of poor, but they do have mounted desert skirmishers, they do have Rauchil cavalry, two generals, and I know for a fact they also have elephants. Syracuse, on the other hand, has a bunch of... It's too early in the video to make that joke, Juggernaut, don't do it. They have a bunch of hoplites, right? I was gonna be a bit condescending towards them, but, um, you know, the, the, the Greeks of the time and what the Romans said about them and etc, etc. Ne never mind, I, topic for a, a later point in the video, but... Um, I think what I'm gonna do now is, as soon as these troops are done replenishing and retraining or whatever, uh, I'm gonna build... Actually, let's just uh, upgrade these ships as well. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to land some troops somewhere in the south of Sicily towards Syracuse, fight this army, um, by doing so declare war on the uh, on the colony of Syracuse, obviously, and besiege the city. Now, Syracuse is a minor city. Um, it's not a large town, it's a minor city. It's pretty much bigger than anything we have in the Empire. Yeah, so, um, well, it's not much of an empire, we have a couple of cities, we have a couple, that's the thing, actually, we don't have a couple of cities, we have a couple of small towns, and some of them are a bit larger, like Croton, and even then, they're completely underdeveloped. Syracuse, on the other hand, 6,500 people, probably a good bit of, um, probably a good bit of, um, uh, buildings inside it as well. Level 3 walls. And, uh, yeah, money to be made from taking that town. So, anyways, that's what we're going to do next. And, obviously, uh, the diplomat is to try and get the job done with the, the Senate mission. Speaking of Senate mission, I kind of forgot to mention this. Um, Senate missions with the 12 turns per year mod don't really work. I mean, the timer for them doesn't really work. Um, it gets a bit confused. See, generally speaking, um, the text says you have 10 turns to complete it, but that's not what it means, if, if that makes any sense. Let us now talk uh, I need to take... I need to go to Taurus to get you to become my protectorate. Not not ceasefire. Um, I need. I can't ask you to become my protectorate. Can can I ask for a reach? What the hell? Okay, no. Until next time. In that case, I genuinely don't understand how this is, how this works. It could be just a, a, a an impossible to complete mission. Um. At least currently for me. Oh no. Oh, did they. The Mamatines just attacked something and won, didn't they? Yeah. They actually took over a town. And they're about to be besieged over here. Well, um, too bad for them. The Romans, somewhat historically accurate. Accurately. Historically accurately. Is that it sounds like it makes sense, but it's a horrible way to phrase it. Um, anyways, as I was saying, by the way, I love that the um, the volcano is here. But anyways, uh, you know, other than just the the big one down in Etna, which is uh, there, it is right. Can't see it because of the uh, 
the Greek, but don't worry, we're going to remove him um, <laughs> from the position and from life in general. Um, let's grab both of these guys. You're going to become the governor of Syracuse, probably. So I could leave you as a governor in Regium. Um, thing is, I'm going to need you for the combat as well, so no. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Land the troops, fight the Greeks, fight the Greeks again, and after this is done, we're going to talk about the, the whole Taurus situation, but as we're loading in, let me tell you about the Senate missions, which since I've started about five minutes ago. Um, so Senate missions, the text of the actual mission tells you you have ten turns to complete it, or five turns to complete it. Not necessarily how the game calculates it. You say, you see, currently the Senate missions work on, I think they work by counting the number of winters or something, or at least I know that is part of the equation. So, if they see that it's summer and then it's winter again, they'll count that as a certain number of turns or a, a year or so, because usually the game works summer, winter, summer, winter, right? Um, well, thing is, right, um, with 12 turns per year, you have to modify the game so that you get one winter for every 11 turns of summer. Unfortunately, there are no other seasons in Rome Toad War other than winter and summer, so you can't really, you know, have autumn and... and um, spring and stuff like that, so yeah. Eleven summers, one winter. Unfortunate, but that's the only way to get the mod to work, or to get the 12 years per uh, 12 turns per year. 12 years per turn is also something. Is it technically possible? I don't know if it's technically possible. Um, it might not be. Anywho, you have to modify the game so that it thinks um, or rather, it calculates time based off of seasons. And in order for it to, you know, give you the desired result, it needs to have one seasonal rotation. So you can't have two winters in the same year. Technically, you could. Um, it would the, the date would um, display correctly. So it would be, for example, uh, if you have 12 turns per year, 24 turns, you would have two years of time progression. If you have multiple winters, however, everything would age each winter. I don't know how much sense I'm making, but if you have a general, in 24 turns, he's not going to be two years old. Or if you have a kid, he's not going to be two years old in 24 turns. He's going to be as old as there are winters a year. So he's going to celebrate a birthday each winter, basically. Which is complicated, convoluted, and weird, and all of those things. And yes, I, I understand, I accept all of that, but th there's nothing you can do about it. That's how the game engine works. And it is a old game engine, so... Um, Alright, tell you what, I am going to start moving like so. And I reckon... Yeah, the Peltists are going to be a bit silly about their manoeuvring. Okay, so now, what we do is we retreat. exactly what I was planning on. And then we do the historically accurate Roman tactic of setting up tiles like this, I call them. It's kind of like Dragon's Teeth, right? The um, military invention basically allows you to attack the enemy from all sides, and we're going to lose a few soldiers over here due to uh, the enemy general charging our ranks, but overall shouldn't be too bad. 
And let's see Spy, because we're going to start killing our own men pretty soon. Um. And there we go. Historically accurate Roman formation and tactic. Or the win. down. So, anyways, um, what I was trying to make is that as a result of this weird way of calculating time, rather than calculating the years, calculating the number of winters, um, the Senate Quest's timer is a bit broken, so it'll tell you ten turns, but I think it's actually ten years, or at least five years, I don't know, which is... Like 5 times 12 number of... It's like 60, right? Yeah, 50 and then 10, 60. Which is around 60 turns instead of the original 10 um, minimum. So, yeah. That's fine, though. Senate missions are like a little bit of bonus added flavor and stuff like that. It's not really something to um, worry too much about. And even if it was... Um, the timer not being there works kind of both ways. Because you want to get the maximum number of Senate missions done as possible because of the rewards and because of the Senate standing and stuff like that. Um, and then if you're stuck on a mission, usually if you can't do it, the timer would be like, you know, okay, five turns or ten turns or whatever, and then if you can't do it in that amount of time, you just fail the mission. Here, I'm going to be stuck with the mission instead. Um, so, you know, there's a there's a upside and a downside to it, is, is I guess what I'm trying to say. Anywho, I believe the diplomat is ready, so we can send him over to... It was Taras, yeah. Maybe I need to talk to the settlement directly instead of talking with their diplomat, I guess. I, I don't know, but we'll find out. Soon, one hopes. Ah, I completely forgot about this. A most okay, well, yeah, let's get trade, uh, trade with uh, pretty much all the barbarians in the north because we're never going to go over there and fight them. More or less. And we've been left with around 500 ducati or a denari, right? Denari for... Uh, the end of the turn, that's all right. I mean, as long as the AI is spending it on stuff. I saw its tax, pol tax policies and it made me cringe a little bit, but, you know, it's doing its best, I guess. It's trying. It's kind of the point. Um, not having to recruit everything. Blah, 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 blah. Try again. Not having to recruit everything manually. Um, also makes for a little bit more of a... Our patience I don't know, relaxing needed. kind of game, I guess. Uh, tell you what, why don't you give me 2,000 for five turns and we can have trade rights and the ceasefire. Regretfully, be quick. Okay, how about I give you all of this and you make a regular tribute of 1,000 for ten turns. Uh, that's for eight turns. Uh. Very well. Fair enough, right? And there you go. Uh, this still isn't surrender, but I can't get surrender from them. Hm. A tad unfortunate. Anyways, Siege Syracuse and... Oh Lord. One, two, three, four. Where did they get four? Um, okay, two rams, three of those, I think. What to do? Yeah, how to do the trick. Can I recruit anything from anywhere to help me in my military campaign? The answer is definitely yes, actually. I thought no, but they did make something in Capua. 
ready. Which I suppose is fair enough. The Mamertines are doing exactly what they've, they've been created to do, quote-unquote. Um, they're keeping the Carthaginians at bay and, and sort of toying around with them. Um, did this settlement rebel? Because I think that's possibly what might have happened. I feel like the settlement rebelled instead of it, uh, you know, actually being conquered by the Mamertines. Anywho. Ready to sail. I guess now the question is... Set sail. Do I bring in reinforcements? I think bringing in two Italian spearmen might not be the worst idea in the world. And I will have them available to recruit everywhere, right? Just to make sure. Yeah, there's no such thing as regional recruitment here except of mercenaries, so... I'm not going to have problems replenishing them... Like, when I'm on campaign somewhere far away. Okay. Tell you what. Quintus Scipio. Going to march on over to Capua. Can I be of service? Here, we're going to give you two Italian spearmen to bring with you. On the ships. To aid in. The siege, maybe? Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll decide later. Whether it's going to be to help out with the siege or to help out with fighting the Carthaginians. It's definitely going to be to help out fighting the Carthaginians, but whether it's going to help in the siege or not, whether I'm going to wait that long or not, I will see. Julie's still playing around with velocity and over there. Like, really? I would have thought that by now you would, you know. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, fine. Um. I'm still besieging them. Jewels, stuff we don't really care about. Construction. At least it's happening. Shrine to Saturn in Bovianum. How'd you get a shrine to Saturn in Bovianum? Oh, sorry. No, it's Saturn, not Neptune. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I thought it was a shrine to Neptune. I'm like, the place doesn't have a port. How exactly did you pull that off? Um, yeah. Honest mistake. Okay, so if I were to attack this now, the auto resolve says I have a distinct possibility of winning. I half agree with that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then three on top of that, and the arches and the velites. It's gonna be like one of the toughest battles ever. And I'm counting on Syracuse having a barracks. But I'm looking at their hoplites and I'm like 90% sure that the fact that they have hoplites and they recruited, I'm pretty sure, an extra hoplite unit or two um, indicates that they have Let us offer prayers to the gods for victory and then let us arm ourselves to the teeth just in case the gods aren't listening. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. Mm -hmm. You are one of the largest armies our people have ever sent to war. Take comfort in this, but know that it is also a burden. We are a mighty force, but mighty deeds are expected. So have no fear. Your deeds will live forever. Well, here's we hoping, here right? is hoping. We do have bronze weaponry upgrades, so... 
I mean, that's something. It's not the best thing ever, but like I said, it's something. Okay, so two ladders there, one there, two rams through the gate because the first one always burns. Um, you know, you must have played this game a lot to know in advance that the ram is going to burn. Yeah, yeah I know. Um, I have. <laughs> Uh, matter of fact, I think of all the Total War games, I have the most amount of hours in this one. Um, I played this like back in 2006 uh, with one of my good friends at the time, um, and it was it was a different era, man. It was before the internet. Uh, Checking out that the internet wasn't invented in 2006 for me, it wasn't. Um, I understand that people had access to the internet prior to that, but for me, it was the time before the internet, and actually for a lot of us, um, people don't uh, know this, but a lot of us didn't have the internet for uh, a long while after its invention. Um, and the internet we did have was not great, and what was available on it was not much. Um, so, yeah, sort of keeping that in mind. Uh, well, it's going to run around with spears, but I think... Can I check on the on their unit card? I can't check the unit card, unfortunate. I don't know if my uh, starty are better than their Oh, I can check on the unit card, it's just a little bit of a long way around. Okay, so let's take a minute here. Morale 4, melee attack 8, melee attack 9, total defense 15, total defense 17, armor 6, armor 5, shield 5, shield 5, defense skill 5, defense skill 6. I have improved weapons, they do not. Uh, well, the improved weapons are going to make a difference, hopefully. Um, but it's not looking great for the Romans, I'm afraid. But yeah, it turns out the towers aren't really focusing on the ram, so it might not actually burn. And never mind, there it goes. Chances are this one's going to burn as well, by the way, just, just don't be surprised if it does. But, yeah. I wonder if I can hit the, uh... Top lights across the wall. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah, ram's done. There is no way to breach this with a ram without destroying the towers. I don't even know why I tried, but I thought... Um, I thought it's been a while since I tried it. Maybe things are different now. They're not. Okay, well, the archers are doing damage at least. Um, we are scaling the walls. And they've prepared hoplites to fight us. Let's see how this is going to go. Whether we have a fighting chance, as they say, on the, on the walls or not. Probably not ideal, right? Oh, mind you, we are uh, kind of punching through. Okay, so why don't we pull both of you guys back? Because this is now the infantry's work, and the infantry is... Uh, Well, the poor bastards are going to have to fight this out in the proverbial trenches. Which is going to take a while, although... We appear to have snuck behind their lines, and they don't really look like they're doing much to stop us. And when I say they don't, they're not doing much, they're literally not 
even turning around. Or at least they weren't for a long while. Um, okay, so yeah, this is what I thought secretly. Well, thought this is what I hoped for secretly. The hoplites are great in open terrain. Like if they, if you were to put them on the street, I would have a tough time breaking through. Once you break their formation, and on the wall they don't have a formation, they become useless. I mean, they've turned around finally, right? They're fighting us. Look at the corpses littered on the battlements. The one place where they're keeping an, an alright foothold of sorts is here. Even that seems somewhat temporary. And, uh... Looks as though we've captured power over here. Um, I don't have units to move yet because they need to all be over the ladders in order for me to be able to move them, but still. Still, right, let's try and get you guys like so. This one's going to be a bit of a tough nut to crack, which is why I want to attack it from the rear if I can. But over here we're also done. So, yeah, this was, uh, I mean, we're still not done. We need to take over the central plaza, and there are, there's a unit of hoplites, another unit of hoplites, and two generals. But for that, I have around four units of Astartes, Archers of Elites, and the two of my own generals. This was going to be the, well, this was always going to be really the, the, the toughest part of the battle. Speaking of the toughest part, let's... Get the cavalry in. Bring up the archers too. Let's get you in through the main gate. Because it's now ours. Yeah, and these guys just broken. They're fighting to the death now. But look at that. Look at that. Like around here I think they started turning around and actually fighting us properly. But... There's just nothing you can do against a force as well organized as, a, as prepared for close quarter combat like this. Pikes are great in the open, like I said. Um, I would call these more pikes than spears. They're incredibly long spears. Um, and considering that they're forming a phalanx, I think a pike is a more uh, appropriate term, but yeah. And obviously, the second biggest problem for them is that now I control the towers. There we go. Okay, the weakest unit out of all of my units is going to start running around the walls. Do I need it to do that for anything specific and useful? Not quite. I need it for role-playing purposes. Because I want to capture the walls. And I want to capture them before the battle is done. So, yeah. Let's get three units of... Uh... Actually, you can... No, you can join them and do the same. Do that. They're going to be exhausted. They're not going to be fit to, to fight in, you know, proper melee battle against these guys, but they will capture the walls all around, and that's going to be useful. So, let's give our men about five minutes, ten minutes or so of uh, in game time to get into position. Just reverberated that, that two. Like, I, I heard the echo when I was in the room. Um. Let's get them in position, like I said. It'll take about five, ten minutes, maybe. If the pathfinding AI find it, finds it in its heart to uh, unstuck my unit. Which, so far, it has not. Can't help but notice how this unit is still stuck. Guys, please. I need it. It's the it's intact. It's one of my biggest units. I really need it. Please. Okay, we 
don't have that unit. Do we have this one? We do not have these two either. Okay, maybe. Yes, yes, we have control over our own units once again. Why? Why? I'm gonna start crying, I swear to god. It's such a waste of virtual life. It, You tell them to go left, then they go straight for about 50 meters, and then they're like, oh, maybe we should just run in place and then turn right. The, none of those things are what I told you to do. Like, none of... This isn't what I told you to do either. This at least I understand. Alright. The Phalanx Pathfinding AI broke before the guard did, remember. Always remember that. The Phalanx Pathfinding broke before the Hastati did. The idea with you was to send you around this way. Sorry, this way. See if that will work. General, General. And you, I guess you can go around this way. Around the other end, thank you. Hurry, hurry. This is going to be a disaster. Although, at least the charge wasn't so bad, because again, the pathfinding is. Oh, they broke. They broke with like a hundred men left in the in the unit, and they still break. And oh, never mind. The enemy king lies dead at your feet. Now is the time to strike hard at his grieving subjects. No, the the other two hundred strong unit also broke. In fairness, I should have waited, but in other fairness, if that makes any sense, I didn't expect a unit of 150 soldiers to break because they got charged by some cavalry. I expect Eastern Infantry to do that, because um, their morale is like negative one, but morale of six on Hastati, I do not expect to break so quickly. Lovely. Stop, you're not going to make it through. Go back. If you can figure out how going back works, I mean, you, it doesn't mean running to here and then that way. It really doesn't. I don't know if you if we've sort of managed to. Master that quite yet. Probably not, right? Wait, do they have three generals bodyguard for some reason? Pathfinding AI has left the chat. Does that look like this? Just, just, yeah, I don't know, you tell me, right? Kill the broken guys first. Okay, this is probably the most important soldier in the entire Roman army right now. He's just most likely not aware of it. Come on. 
Out of Pila, right? Yeah. That's okay. fine. That needs to form ranks there. Form ranks. It's really like the most basic function of the AI. It's it's the it's right click. I swear to you, it's it's literally just right click, and you can't do it. There we go. All right, thank you very much. That should be a broken hoplite unit. Why are you going backwards? Why are you going backwards? That that way. Tell you what we need. Um, signposts. Battle signposts, specifically. We can show them where they're supposed to be going in the middle of battle. Because apparently that's what we need. That's uh, one of the mightiest empires to have ever existed on the planet. It needs signposts for its soldiers mid fighting. Don't, don't charge them, we're gonna do something stupid. Okay. This works. Just barely, but we're gonna get the job done. By the way, do you see the difference between fighting here and fighting in, um, rather on the walls? literally night and day, right? It took three units of Astarte, they wiped one out completely, and it took another three from the flank to break them. Over there, the ratio was, like, completely the opposite. It took one unit of Astarte to break probably, like, two or three of these. Entirely different, but... Yeah. Look at how long it's taking. There's, like... A couple of soldiers left, and it's still... Jeez. That was, uh, that was something, but it was always going to be an impossibly difficult fight. Um, I just really didn't... I really got pissed off at the routing, like, uh, routing at 150 strong, because... Oh, I no explanation for that, really. Anywho, that was Syracuse. Retrain everything, which is going to take a load of money. Um, and we can recruit generals from Syracuse. Yes, it is a governor's palace. Nice. Um, but we're not going to do that. Instead, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, we're going to need one more unit of Hastati. Think. Yeah, the brick bay aren't much different. Um, so I'm going to have four units of Astarte in this army. Um, four of each. See, that's also something I wanted to leave for later, but I think now is. We're sort of coming up to the time where it will be appropriate to talk about. Um, I have a very specific unit composition for my armies, and that's. I make legions, right? And I make them mostly the same across battlefields. Obviously, considering that there's no local recruitment, uh, I will make slight changes for the legions that I sent to Africa versus the ones that I sent in Gaul, for example, or uh, Greece or whatever. Um, however, the Roman Empire is split among houses, so generally speaking, the, the, uh, the Scipii are going to have one kind of legion because they're mostly going to be fighting in Africa. But besides the point... The legion structure goes as follows. Four units of heavy infantry, four units of another heavy infantry. Um, here it's going to be four units of Astarte followed by four units of Astarte. You can do four Astarte, four Pricope. Um, the reason it's 4-4 four, four is it's a two-layer system. Um, kind of historically accurate, by the way. The actual legion of the time would have a line of Astarte followed by a line of Pricope followed by a line of Triarii. Um, that's not to say that the three would be in, in, in equal numbers in an army, quite the opposite, 
Um, you'd have fewer Triarii than pretty much all the other ones, and the Triarii were the veteran guard in the rear, therefore, um, very specific operations, let's say, um, and if they were getting involved in a fight, then something really went wrong, um, generally speaking. However, mind you, that, that's what most historians say. What I will say is that it's the, the stupidest thing possible you can do with an army is have a unit dedicated to not fighting. And I don't mean logistics, I mean a unit, a combat unit, that whose job is to just sit in the back and look cool. I really doubt that's how the Roman, how the Roman army fought. Um, I understand that the brunt of the dirty work and the, the melee fighting and stuff was done by the Hastati and the Pricope, um, which is... By the way, the pronunciation of those things. I, I know, but the game pronounces it like that when you click on them, so, you know. Um, for sake of consistency, I guess, I'll, I'll call them Um And the, the problem is, right, that the brunt of the fighting is done by those forces, and then you're telling me that the Triarii were just sort of in the rear doing nothing, and that that's their life's work and dedication was to do nothing until it came to the crunch, as they say, and they had to do something. No, that that's a bit silly, for lack of a better word. Generally speaking, it's it's incredibly foolish to have a unit that's just not fighting most of the time, um, even if they are veterans and, and they have a certain amount of prestige and stuff like that. And Romans were not one to waste, or um, well not ones to waste potential and, and and force most of the time. So, anyways. My working theory is that they were there to do... They, they were the, the special forces of the time, right? Um, as horrible as an analogy it is for melee combat and, and ancient warfare and stuff, but it kind of makes sense. They were there to sort of... If the flanks got overrun, for example, you would send them in. If you're dealing with a very particularly nasty grouping of infantry or something, you would send them in and so on and so forth. Like, they were the reserve and the elite that would be sent in, whereas with a lot of documentaries you see them portrayed as just guys sitting in the back and not doing anything for like 99% of the, the battles. Um, not quite true. Anyways, at least I, based on all that I know, um, the, the Romans did not have a dedicated unit that did not fight for the majority of their lives. Anywho, that's it for this video and for this um, episode. Next, we're going to start taking on the Carthaginians. I don't know where their army went, which is a... That's famous last words, right? There they are. Uh, we're going to start taking stuff over here, and Syracuse, and so on and so forth. And this guy, Scipio, is going to be the new governor of Syracuse. So, I'll leave him there, grab all of this, and start heading towards Garus, I think. Yeah, makes sense. Right now, can we afford to actually do this? Probably yes, right? Yeah, most likely. And also, we have reinforcements to bring to the front lines. Eventually. Right, that'll do. Anyways, that's all for the next episode, and we're going to play a little bit faster from now on, because, uh, well... We have a more straightforward road to victory and uh, your to progress, if that makes sense. Without Until the aforementioned next video, Greetings. thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video, and we'll stay tuned with the most generous content that I produce on the channel. Have fun, take care, and bye-bye.